back in the old days when they didn't have a computer or cars or whatever else, you know, a guy pulled into the shop, and I think he was working there or whatever, but anyway, so this won't run. It kind of dies off and all that, and the guy says, well, he looked up the hood, looked at everything, and he goes, hey, but George, give me a screwdriver. And he gives a screw, and he goes, tightens down the primary screw on the primary coil. Boom, runs and doesn't die anymore. The guy says, that'll be five bucks. Five bucks? Five dollars? She said, you didn't even have to put the screw in there. It was already there. It was just loose. And all you did was tighten it up. Okay, he said, since I didn't put the screw in, he said, I'll take a nickel off. He said, well, what's the four ninety five for? Knowing what screw to tighten. You know, it's worth a lot of money to know which screw to tighten. In your life and my life, so many people, Lord, why is this happening? Oh, Lord, why is it? Oh, I'm so, oh, how you feel? Poor, I don't know. You know, and all kinds of issues that we go through. And I know you've experienced it like me. And then all of a sudden somebody tells us a simple answer and it fixes it. Have you ever said, Lord, why didn't you get this to me sooner? Why didn't you get it to me sooner? I love to tell this. I know you hear it all the time, but it don't hurt you to hear it again. But man, when the sailors used to go out in the, you know, on those big ships, or those ships for long trips, you know, and they get, uh, what do they get? Scurvy. Scurvy. And they would die. Year after year, generation after generation, they would die. And so wives, when they sent their husbands out, they knew, boy, there's a good chance of, he won't make it. He gets curvy and die. Year. Boy, you've got to know that some of them were Christians. You've got to know that some of them were praying. And saying, God, why, 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 why? And then all of a sudden somebody says, you know, if you take some lemons or some green tea, you won't die. And they don't. Man, does that just want to fry your cookies or something? Like, why? We prayed and prayed. Why didn't we have that answer? It was so simple. We didn't, it wasn't, you know, huge thing, a huge investment. We could have done it. And if that's the case, how many other things are like that that we don't know about yet? And I see people all the time moan and groan and whatever. I'm not trying to put them down or whatever, or hurt, or just hurt and just, and then they, you, you, we're told to cope with things. We'll just learn to get, you'll, you'll get, you'll get over it. You'll learn to cope with that. I don't know about you, but I've had to learn to cope with things, right? So have you. But if I have my choice, I'd rather get rid of it. If I had my choice, I'd rather get over it. And there's times that a lot of times I refused to, I coped with it while I had it, but I was not willing to stay there. I said, I want this fixed. And I can't tell you how many times that the answer came. Maybe that day, maybe the next day, maybe two years from then, the answer came. The way God set this up, we can see this with Jesus He's showing us an example here that you need to set your heart and your face. The Bible talks a lot about setting your heart in the Old Testament and New Testament. There is such a godly principle and way of God that says if you want something, you've got to seek for it. If you want something, you've got to ask for it. If you want to get through something, you've got to knock on the door. And every one of those is a verb that says you've got to start seeking and keep seeking. You've got to start knocking and keep knocking. You've got to ask and keep on asking. And this principle is one of the most powerful principles that works whether you're saved or unsaved. When you set your heart to find something, when you set your heart to, to resolutely, everything in this universe starts working in your behalf to get you where you want to go. And Jesus used this, even though he's a son of God, he used this and he resolutely said, I need to get to Jerusalem to obey my father. 